hello and welcome in this session we are going to see what is Jenkins home directory and we will also learn how we can change Jenkins home directory so let's get started during this session you can do hands-on along with me and if you face any issues if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section below so Jenkins home directory or we also generally refer to it as Jenkins home it is a folder where all the configuration, all the data, all the details, all the job configuration, bid log, blocks and all the logs are present. So all the data of your Jenkins is present in this particular folder or directory which is called as Jenkins home. So if I go to my Windows system and in the last session we had started Jenkins and if I go to my my computer or this PC and go to C drive and go to users and here I will go to the username so whatever is your user you can go there in my case I am the administrator so I will go inside and here you can see this is the folder called dot Jenkins so this is the home directory of Jenkins or Jenkins home on this particular system and if I go inside this dot Jenkins you can see all the data all the logs all the configuration if I go to the jobs folder I can see the details about my job this is the folder of the job we created in the last session and all its builds all the configuration everything is present here okay so this is the home directory and as I told you in this folder or in this directory we also have a folder for each job that we create on our Jenkins now the default location of this directory of this folder is where lib Jenkins if you are on Linux or Mac operating system and if you are using Windows you will find it in your C users and then whatever is your user uh, you will be finding a folder by your user like in my case it was administrator and then dot Jenkins okay so this is the location of the Jenkins home directory on Linux Mac and Windows okay so this is very important it contains all your data of your Jenkins all the configuration all the logs all the jobs everything right so now we will see how do we change the location of the home directory or how do we change the Jenkins home now the first thing is why this is important why do we need to do this so the main uh, reason for changing the default location of the Jenkins home directory can be that by default it gets created on the C drive and if you are on uh, Linux or Mac it gets created in your varlib folder but sometimes it may happen that uh, you want to put this folder on a directory or on a drive that has more space so that whenever you create uh, you know you, you don't have any limitation on space so you may want to put this on a drive on a folder or on a uh, at a disk space which has more space on it and the other reason can be you want to put this home directory at some particular location based on your project requirement okay so for that let us see how do we change the location of the home directory here stop step number one is if your Jenkins is running you will stop the Jenkins so in case you have started Jenkins using the Jenkins war file as we did in our case you can go to the command line and just press ctrl C and hit enter it will close or stop the Jenkins that is being that is running on your system and actually before that let me start my Jenkins again and I want to show you uh, I am starting it again so I am saying java hyphen jar Jenkins dot war hyphen hyphen HTTP port I'm using some particular port number all this we have learned in the earlier session I am on my downloads folder where my Jenkins.war file is and I am starting Jenkins and once Jenkins is started let me show you so I will go to this localhost 9090 where I started Jenkins I will log in with the user this is the same user I created in the last session and after it logs in it will go to the dashboard then we will go to 
manage Jenkins so you will find a link here manage Jenkins and then from here you can go to the system configuration this one okay and here this will show you the location of your Jenkins home so let's wait it's going a little slow today yeah so you can see here you will see the home directory or Jenkins home and you will see the location or the folder the directory which is being used as Jenkins home okay and this is what we are going to change so the first thing is we will stop Jenkins so I am going to my command line again and pressing ctrl C in case you have used uh, you are using Jenkins as a Windows service or if you are uh, if you have started Jenkins with any other way you can check what is the way to stop Jenkins if you have used Jenkins.war file and have used a command line or terminal to start Jenkins using the command uh, java hyphen jar Jenkins.war then you can just go to the terminal or the command line click and then press ctrl C and hit enter you should be able to stop your Jenkins instant instance okay okay so this is now stopped and then step number two will be you can create a new directory wherever you want on your system and then you will have to copy the contents of the old Jenkins home directory to the new directory and this is important because uh, all the configuration all the data including your login information everything is there in the Jenkins home so you will have to copy that uh, all the data otherwise you will not see or any any jobs any configuration even you won't be able to log in if you do not have the data so let us do that now in my case I am going to create a new folder uh, let me see where I have more space I can do anywhere let me go to my D drive and I'll go to my tools folder you can do it anywhere and let me just create a new folder here I will call it as Jenkins home and then inside this folder I will copy the contents of my old Jenkins home directory which is in my C drive so let me open that as well my C drive users administrator dot Jenkins now I can either you know copy all this and put it here or I can just copy the dot Jenkins folder let me for now just copy everything here and this can take some time so let us wait for this to get completed if you want you can also cut and paste that will be uh, a little faster than copy paste okay so after this after we have got all our data all the Jenkins home data here in the new folder after this we have to create or update an environment variable called Jenkins home and give the variable the new location of the Jenkins home directory let me show you I will go to my environment variables so I'm on Windows I'm pressing the Windows key and I'm typing environment and I get this option edit system environment variables I will go here uh, let me do it again I will search for environment I will go to edit system environment variables click on environment variables and here just check if you see a variable called Jenkins home you can also press uh, GEN and then see if you find it it's okay and if you don't find it that's fine you can create a new one so let me also delete this one and I will show you I will now click on new and also see this is the these are the environment variables for the current user that is logged into the system and this is the, these are the environment variables for the system like for any user on this system so just in case you do not have access to edit the system environment variables you can do it for the user environment variables but in my case I can do it for the system so I will go here and click on new 
and create a variable called Jenkins underscore home. So it is all in uppercase Jenkins underscore home and the value will be the location of the new Jenkins home folder which is in my case this one. Okay, you can just copy the location and give it here and say OK. Alright. Now step number 5 will be we have to again start Jenkins but from a new command line not from the old terminal. So sometimes if you start Jenkins again from the old terminal or the old command line that you have used earlier sometimes it maintains the old session and you might not see the changes so exit from here and open a new command line so I will first go to the downloads folder where my jenkins.war file is then I will say java-jar jenkins.war and if you want to start on any specific port other than 8080 you can say hyphen hyphen http port equals to whatever port number you want and hit enter and now if I go and check I will use a new browser tab and go to localhost I will say 9595 the port I used Make sure that uh, on your terminal you see this message Jenkins is fully up and running and now it has opened. I will try to log in and yes it should uh, be able to log in. Okay now I will uh, you can see I still get all my job and everything that I had on my earlier Jenkins because we have already copied the content from the old Jenkins home directory. Now if I go to manage Jenkins and I go to here the system configuration. Let us see now. And okay, it is loading. Okay yes you can now see it has changed the location of our Jenkins home directory. So earlier it was this if I go to my old tab browser tab it was this and now it has changed to this. So now whatever we do on our Jenkins we create any job do any kind of configuration whatever we, we do everything will now go in this new Jenkins home directory and in case you want you can now delete the old Jenkins home directory as well because now it is not being used okay so this is how you can change the home directory I hope this was very useful if you have any questions you can let me know I will reply to all of you and I will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning